Okay, for this question, you actually gave me answer B, but then it's not correct. It's not answer B. So how can I go about tackle this question? I look at the unit. Here it says 50 km per hour. Which means like that, okay? So I'm asking, I need to change it into seconds, and I only want to know 100 meter. That means I also need to change it into meter. So how do I change in second? One hour, you know that it's 3600 zero, zero second. So if I want to cancel with the hour, here's below, I must put this one on top. So it's 3600 zero, zero, uh, second. Cancel, cancel. And then now I have 50 kilometer over 3600 zero, zero second, right? Okay, then after that, I need to convert this into meter. One kilometer equals to 1000 meter. So how do I cancel again? This one, you put here one kilometer, one thousand meter. Okay, cancel this and cancel this. Okay, so is which means what? It means fifty times one meter per three six zero zero second. It means that fifty e a sun right meter equals to. 3600 zero, zero second, but then I only want to know 100 meter. So, what I do is 100 meter equals to this one times this one divided by this one. So, it's that 100 times 3600 zero, zero divided by 550 times 1000. So, this is the correct answer, and then this is actually here. Okay. Okay, this is a very interesting one. You get me B is wrong. So, okay, we will see this, okay. If you notice properly that it says that the uh, yellow overlap with orange, right? Uh, when, uh, uh, yellow overlap with red, you will give you orange. So, this portion here uh, is actually yellow overlap with red. And then this portion here, that means it shows here uh, that this red is moving away, moving away. Okay, from the uh from the yellow, so there's no overlap, so there's no orange here. Okay, so when it's moving away, and this is obviously also moving away towards here, it's just because the angle is getting bigger and bigger, it's moving away towards here. So it's actually what is the next shape in the pattern? The next shape in the pattern will be of course like that, right? Because then 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 slowly this one move, and this one move, then they will have a portion of orange here okay your this maybe is the this is step four yours is maybe step five when they totally merge together to give you orange so the answer is this okay you give me answer of a a is wrong okay remember what's a prime number Okay, A is wrong. Prime number is the number that can be divided by itself and only one. Okay, so is this a prime number? It is so many. Excuse me. So many big numbers here, right? But remember last time I taught you something that it's more easy for you to uh, identify whether it can be divided by by two or not. So two zero zero one can be divided by two. No, because the last digit here is not an even number. Okay, so can it be divided by 3? Okay, let's see. Uh, if to check whether it can be divided by 3, we add up all the number 2, add 0, add 0, add 1. You will give me 3. Yes, and then this final number can be divided by 3. Can be divided by 3. So this is not a prime number. And then we can, I can proceed to the next number. This one, can 2, 0, 0, 3 be divided by 2? No, we divide 3, let's see, uh, 2 add 0, add 0, add 3, is 5. Can it be divided 3? No, it cannot be divided 3. Can it be divided 4? So, uh, if... So, how can I check whether it can be divided 4 now? If the 2, 0, 0, 3, if the last two digits cannot be divided 4, that means the whole number cannot be divided 4. So, this one also cannot be divided 4. How about divide by 5? If to be divided by 5, right, you must, either this one must be 0 or anything that can divide by 5, right? Also cannot. This is not. How about divide by 6? 
Okay, I don't know yet, right? How about divide by 7? I skip it. What about divide by 8? Divide 8. Divide 8, how do I see that? That means here divide by 4 is the last two digits, right? Last two digits, sorry. Then divide 8 is last three digits. So can the last three digits be divided by 8? No, cannot. What about divide by 9? Divide by 9 is very easy. You add everything out and see whether it can be divided by 9. Or not. Just like this one. This one, 3, right? Add everything out to check whether it can be divided by 3. Or not. Cannot be divided by 9. Aha! I have a very high chance it may be this. So can I maybe do a very quick one? See if can be right 6, 6, 12, 18, 3, 1, 8, 2, 0, 3, 1, 8. Two, three. Oh, cannot be divided by 6 also. What about divided by 7? 2, 0, 0, 3, divided by 7. 7, 14, 21. 2, 14, 6, 0. Uh, so, 60, I can... Is it 8? Give me a minute. So, 56, 56. Come 4 again. 43. So, 43 is... Uh, Also, there's a remaining here. So, it also cannot be divided. So, this is the answer. If you can remember easily whether it can be divided 2, divide 3, divide 4, divide 5. Okay, 6 and 7, no choice. Divide uh, 8, divide 9. You can very easily identify a number. Remember, divide 2 is the last digit must be even. Last digit. So, if divide 3 and divide 5 is all the number add out, it must be able to divide 3 or divide 5. That means then it can be divided. Then, if it's divided 3, then it can. If everything else can be divided 3, then it can be divided 3. Lah. If everything else can be divided 5, then it can be divided 5. So, divide 4 is actually the last two digit. Last two. Last two digit. Whether it can be divided 4 or not. Okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. Here is divide three and divide nine is the last two last uh, add out all the number and see whether it can be divided three or can be divided nine. Then you know that whether they can divide. Divide five is whether it can be divided divide by um five is very easy like zero or divide five. Okay, so divide eight is the last three digit you, you add it out. Uh no, no uh the last three digit. You just use the last three digits and determine whether it can be divided by 8 or not. Okay? This one is don't add out 4, 4 and 8 is not don't add out. You just see whether the last two or the last three digits can be divided. So it's only 3 and 9, the 3 time table. Uh, then you add it out. Okay? C is wrong. Okay, reason why it's wrong. I know that you you maybe think is I know yeah you, you you did some like conclusion in that one hundred then one hundred uh, or eight hundred okay. but then the computing system don't work like this okay so we must first see a clue here a clue here it says it's a binary system a binary system right is also can only be displayed in zero and one okay so in binary system you will see this and this. So these two question, these two is already out. So you can only see zero and one. So is this one or this one? If for me to get this number right, correct, I just have to add one hundred. Add one eleven. So it's one one one. So if one hundred add eleven, I will have one hundred one two three four. Add eleven, one two three. It's only seven counter. So this is also wrong. So the only possibility in this case is this. What you can do here is you can try all the combine. Don't, don't be so so silly because this question is only elimination. You don't really need to calculate how to find this, this thing. It's only like to eliminate what are the... You, you see suddenly this is a very big number, right? You don't go and find how, how to find this number. You, you understand or not? So if let's say it's... Uh, Let's say if this number, another number, give you a choice is uh, maybe this A that remove is 
16 they remove it they don't want 16 they give you uh, one uh, zero one zero uh, so, uh, one one zero so you can also know that one one zero is actually 100 at 10 right okay what happened okay so for that one is for one one zero so it's in this case one hundred and ten. So it's actually one one zero. It's only how many count one, two, three, four, and then uh you have two counter. Only five counters. So there are so many counters here, definitely it will not be this also. Okay? So you just do elimination very fast, you'll get an answer already. But the answer that actually gave me is 56 and then this answer is wrong let us go through how to do this method systematically if you were to see this cube right you know that there are what one cube have six faces okay i draw this oh by now you know that it has six faces six exposed faces if it's not all lumped together when I, okay i'm back so I will do this systematically. Uh. I will have, in this case, I have what? First level, second level, third level, and fourth level. Okay? So my first level, I have eight cubes. Eight cubes, right? I should have times six. I should have 48 faces. Okay? But then, uh, what are the faces that are not exposed? Okay, so what I do is, 48 faces... I have minus of 8 because it stick to the base. This is the bottom one. Then minus of all the side one. So how do I find uh, how how many sides I actually stick together? So I draw the same together as the pattern there. I pause and draw, okay? Okay, so now I can calculate how many faces are actually stick together. For this cube, I go cube by cube. So I have to do this very systematically. It's 1. 2 is 2 is 1 2 2 is 1 2 3 3 1 2 3 3 1 2 3 3 1 2 2 is 1 and here's 1 eh, sorry here's 1 2 3 so here's 3 okay so if I were to add out the total for this right I will actually have 18 side so this is the side and then I must minus off the top the top how many top are there on top of me 1 2 3 4 5 so I have 5 top so 5 top this is the top so for level 1 I will have um, I will have 17 exposed okay okay so now I go to level 2 level 2 I have 5 cubes 5 cubes, right? Times 6 equals to 30. Okay? By right, I should have 30, right? But then I must minus off 5 cubes. I have 5 bottoms, right? These are the bottoms. Then I minus off uh, the, the side. So I need to draw how are the side links again. So this is the pattern for uh, level uh, level 2. So I, I calculate one by one. So I do this again. Here's 1. Here's 1. 2, 3, is 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2. Okay, so in total, my side will be 10. Okay, and then I must again minus off my top. There are on top of me 2 cubes. So I minus the top is 2 cubes. In this case, I will have 13. Okay. So I will then go and do my level 3. Level 3. Level 3 is quite simple. I have actually um, <coughs> 2 cubes. So times 6. But right, I should have 12 face. 12 minus the bottom. This is the bottom. Minus the side. They are not stick to any. Because level 3 didn't say stick to any. And then I minus off the top. The top I have only... 
one cube so my level three is nine okay and then my level four my level five only one cube times six which is six six minus off the bottom minus side is zero and minus top is also zero so i have five okay so i will have to add out all my levels okay how many faces of this cube are outside of the solid so i have to add on all my level level one 17 at level 2 which is uh 13 at level 3 9 at level 4 it actually give me 5 okay adding all of this up it will give me 44 but then this question don't stop here the tricky part is it's asking you to including the base so this is 44 is not you don't include the base what is my base my base is 8 so i must 44 add 8 will give me 52 and this is the answer including the base this is the base okay for this question you actually gave me an answer of 130 and this is wrong Okay, this question you need to have some understanding of algebra and how to play around with the equations but not to worry i can actually show you you have more or less a a, a very um introduction uh about equation when you, when, when doing sa1 where i go through all the practice remember we, we find things like one pen at one what equals to what's the cost right then we always go and find group of this it's something similar with this but then you need to tweak it a little bit okay here says uh, four arrows into red so i write four red at two pink will give me 240 this is my first equation my second equation is three red at one pink will give me 170 okay this is my second equation the third equation is actually asking you if I have one red at two pink uh, is how much? Uh, question like this, right? You very easily, you very easy. You see one, four, one, three, one, two, one, one. You very easily you know that how you can play around this. This is you can find one. What is the cost of one? Uh, not cost. What is the total marks of? one red arrow and then another one one pink i do this i use this one this equation minus this that means use equation one minus equation two and this is how i'm going to do it 4r minus 3r is 1r add up 2p minus 1p is 1p then 240 minus 170 is uh wait uh, it's actually 70 okay cases like that you can see i have one and one is it's very good to have one and one uh let me just maybe write down first if one and one i can either find out what is the value of p or what is the value of r so for this case i want to find what is the value of p if i find out what is the value of p it's very easy here is one r right then here you actually um switch over how you switch over is here here is plus if you don't really understand what why i need to minus uh, i show you one r here okay at one p this is your equation right if i remove this r i what i do is actually i minus r i minus one r here over here i also minus one r so when r r minus r this one then this one p equals to 70 over one r okay but then this is a uh, very basic um, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is just 1p here is 70 minus 1r because you bring this over here it has a sign of plus you bring over become minus okay okay now we know that 1p equals to this I can use this equation to plug into either this or this to find what is the value of r how I go about doing it 3r uh, let me if I use question number 2 uh, 3r equation number two three r equals to plus one p equals to one seven zero okay so three r as usual copy down 
one P is equals what? One P is equals to this thing here. So I just totally plug this thing here. Seventy minus one R equals one hundred seventy. Okay. So if you were to three R minus one R will be two R plus seventy. So one hundred seventy. So I this is number number I move it over. Here is actually you put minus seventy. Here is minus seventy. This one cancel off. So two R will be one hundred. So one hundred divide two will be fifty. So one arrow ah for R is actually fifty marks. <coughs> okay. So here is fifty marks. Then what about ping? Okay, ping you already know this ping this formula here. Remember this formula here. So you can easily easily find your ping. One ping ah uh, is actually seventy minus one r. One r is what fifty. So one ping is equals to twenty. So for this equation, what is the Joe's should? What is the the total mark he should he has one in red, which is fifty in this case, and then two in pink. So ping two times. Twenty will be forty. So in total is fifty at forty. His total mark should be ninety. Okay, Joshua. For this question, you actually gave me the answer as D is wrong. Okay, so what you can go about doing it when I say rotate anti-clockwise, I can draw this something right. So because it rotate by a quarter. So when I rotate by a quarter, and it's anti-clockwise, this must move here. Understand? If this move here, that means this one point here will come here over here, and then this one over here. And then this one will be here. So this is called a quarter turn because when you divide into four four side, this side come over this side. It's called a quarter anti anti clockwise turn. So this is the answer. Okay, uh, for this question you gave me D. I don't know why you actually chose this because this is what just less than ninety percent will brand P. Not really just, but that is definitely more. It's just it's definitely less than ninety percent. But you just use just is like slightly less than ninety percent. But that is actually a lot more than ninety percent. So actually, the correct answer here is actually uh together brands Q and R right. It make up just one quarter of the sale. One quarter. When you see a quarter like this, what it means? This one cut into four part. How do, why is it that this statement, the first statement, you know that is correct? You see Q and R, right? When you see Q, this is Q, R. It's just nice. It's just over one quarter of the sales. One quarter, let's say, put it here because if we were to cut this into, we we were to cut this into four parts. It's just over. It's just slightly over one quarter. This is the meaning of just. So you see, it's just over one quarter of the sale. This is correct. But then just is just like slightly over or slightly less than. This is very obvious that P right. Okay, P. It's many many lot more less than ninety percent. See, it's not even half yet. So you cannot use this just here, okay? For this question, the answer that you actually gave me is D, which is wrong. Okay, let let me explain to you why. Okay, you know that uh, it was in the theme park. Over here is the theme park, yeah. and then it's asking that he was three hundred meter from the pirate ship. So it means that over here to here is three hundred meter, okay? Then using the map, uh, approximately how far was James from Grand Slide? Grand Slide to here is here is this. So if I were to just push this over into one line, it will be at this point. Okay, and then we know that if the whole line is three hundred meter, half of it will be roughly here will be what one hundred and fifty. Correct. And here is one hundred fifty. And then obviously here it looks like half of the one hundred fifty. 
450 divided by 2 will give you 75. It's just this. Okay? Okay, for this question, the answer that you actually gave me is 830. You gave me 830 meter. This is wrong. Okay, let's work out, okay? So you know that Pierre is at the zoo. Uh, he's meeting his friend at the Kyosu whereby he reads this sign. So he's at here, Kyosu. And it says that if I would go to lion, zebra, and, and, uh, giraffe, the respective, okay? Uh, distance is shared. So, it will, I'm going to first to lion, and then to giraffe, and then later to zebra, in that order. So, let me share with you how, what is the distance will be like. First, I go to lion. Okay, lion, 160 meter. Okay? And then, I need to go to giraffe. But giraffe from here to here is what? 420. Correct or not? Meter. This is Jura, my second station. So here to here is already 160 meter. Then I need to walk back, right? To reach here. Here is another 160. And then I move, move further to here. It, at 420, okay? And then I know that zebra is from this distance, this K distance to here. Is what? 250. This is my zebra. Which is my third station. So I'm already at giraffe. When giraffe, then I must walk back here, this distance, to go to zebra. So what is this distance here? This distance here is very obvious. It's 420 minus 250 will give me 170. So I add back 170. If you do, do all the addition, from here, you will have a one nine one zero meter. Okay.